YouTube, what is up? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. Now, before we get into this video, man, two things real quick. Uh, for whatever reason, today my allergies are really going crazy. So if you hear me sniffling or pausing or whatever, that's what's going on. And then the second thing, I don't know if you can hear them outside or not, but we are getting our deck redone in the back. So uh, you may hear some banging or construction sounds or whatever. But that's all of that, man. Let's get into this video. But before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure that you go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Make sure um, to turn on your notification bell as well, man. We are growing. We just hit 1,500 subscribers, man. Thank you guys so, so much for showing the support. Also, if you want to continue to show support after you subscribe, all I ask is that you take the one second to go ahead, smash that like button. It really helps with the algorithms, helps bring more people to the channel, um, which can help, um, obviously, grow if we get more subscribers. And then last but not least, go ahead and follow the Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. You get a lot of information up there first, poll stories, questions, kicks of the day, things like that. Now, without further ado, Let's get into this video, man. So here we go. You guys are the title. You saw the thumbnail. You know what it is. Here is the box. You guys see it right here. Everyone knows what it means when you see one of these boxes. It is an Air Jordan 1 box. Don't need to spend too much time on that. Now, in this box, we have an Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, and the colorway is black, smoke gray, and white. I'm surprised they put white in the colorway, but it is what it is. Um, and this is a size 12, so it is my personal pair. Now, I already have the shoes out of the box right here because I like reviewing the, the right shoe and the left shoe is the first shoe you always get out of Nike boxes, but whatever. Enough of that. Here it is, the Air Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0. Okay, YouTube, here it is, the Air Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0, man. These came out, um, I believe, last Saturday, this past Saturday. I forgot what the date was, um, but that is when these came out. They just got in to me yesterday for whatever reason. Well, I know why, but when I get packages coming through UPS, I don't get them till like 8 or 9 p.m., so my videos usually don't come to the following day. Reason being is I live really close, like a mile away from the UPS distribution center from my area. And the way that it works, man, they go to all of their furthest deliveries first and then work their way back towards the distribution center. So I live right next to it. So I usually get my stuff last, um, but it is what it is. I still got them in hand. And yo, this is a dope, dope colorway, man. Now, if you guys follow my Instagram, you would have seen that I posted it and said that I had some mixed feelings about it. But I'll get into that really, really quick. Um, but just a real quick overview of the shoe. We'll start with the outsole, regular Jordan 1 outsole, black outsole, nothing special there, white midsole. Now when we get to the upper, this is where things get interesting. So we have coming around the toe right here, up the laces and around the heel and even the swoosh, we have this gray color. Um, this shadow color now it is lighter than the original shadow um jordan ones but once again we'll get into that comparison in a little bit um but we do have black on the toe box black on the quarter a black tongue and a black heel um now the one thing the reason why i'm a little uh offish about this shoe is the material choice um not just material choice but quality choice of the materials so material choice is this is basically the same um as the unc ones that released earlier this year um i sold my unc ones to get unc fours but it's the same like layout material wise like suede around here or new buck whatever you want to call it i'm pretty sure the ones were new buck this is new buck as well leather on the toe leather on the quarter suede 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 right same material layout not the same color block and those were blocked like chicago's this is blocked like the reverse bread. Um, and I'm gonna call these the reverse breads. It's easier to say reverse bread than a reverse shadow, I mean, the shadow 2.0. Because if you just look at this shoe, right? Look at this shoe and then look at the shadow. Now, look at the bread 2.0 and then look at the original bread. They're both blocked the same way. So I'm gonna call this a reverse shadow. Um, but I'm gonna get into why I don't love this sneaker i really 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 like it i won't say i love it um and that is because of the materials man so first of all 
the best part about the original shadow is its wearability it's super super wearable obviously black and gray you can wear with anything black gray black silver or whatever you can wear that stuff with anything but the fact that it's an all leather the original the fact that it's an all leather air jordan one that's black and gray you can wear it with anything clean it super easily keep it looking fresh right these have the new buck which dirties a lot easier man it's harder it's easier to stain and for a shoe that i would like to wear much much more it's just a little bit weird you know what i'm saying also um there is theoretically a all leather pair of these floating around somewhere way way back apparently when the original shadows came out there was another unreleased shadow that was blocked like this and it was all leather um but like i said this new buck the suede material stains super easy You're gonna have to prep it make sure it um it stays as waterproof and stain proof as possible um so i can't wear it a lot because i do play i do see myself wearing these a good amount um just because of the the simpleness of the colorway um if you're a raider fan i'm sure you would love these as well but like i said just the new buck throws me off a little bit once again the unc ones same type of material blocking but you're not gonna wear the unc ones as much as you'll wear these you know what i mean these will get a lot more wear than a pair of unc ones um now over to the actual quality of the shoe very 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 disappointed um in the quality of the shoe now for the most part we know jordan one leather isn't the greatest i'm actually going to pull out two jordan ones that i like to talk about when i talk about jordan one quality that's my bloodline and that is my uh, can i reach it from here my court purple here it is so we're just going to look at quality right so I always pull out the bloodline because to me, this is some of the best quality you'll see on the Jordan one. Now I do have like a crease protector in here, so you're not going to see the push as much, but you guys can just see the tumble on the leather all the way around. Really, really great quality, even on these parts of the shoe where the quality is usually lacking on the black parts of the shoe, right? You know what I'm saying? Still super, super soft, which tells me because a lot of people will be like, oh, it's black leather. They can't make it that soft. They can't make it tumble. Well, they made the black leather on the bloodline super, super soft, right? Um, and also on the toe box. Now, this leather is super stiff. No wrinkles. You can see it right there. No wrinkles right here on the quarter or whatever. It reminds me. And what's crazy is I thought it reminded me of the court purple, like this type of leather. Um, but the leather is not even as good as it is on the court purples, which is weird, right? It's not even this good on there. Like this is... This isn't good leather, this is okay leather. This is okay leather right here. This leather is even less, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys can see the differences on the toes right here, but this this leather is even less than this leather, the amount of like quality on it. So that was a little bit, like I said, a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. This leather reminds me almost of, if you guys remember the Hyper Royals that came out, I believe last year. This reminds me of that same leather quality. Um, also just real quick now that I have the court purples out um, I know a lot of people hated this right here with the court purples and I believe I know the hyper royals had it I believe the uh, what else what else what else court purples had it hyper royals had it pine green 2.0s had it had that leather tab right there and everyone was saying oh well maybe that's why those shoes are 270 or sorry 170 that's why they moved them up ten dollars from the 160 and i told y'all back then nike's gonna finesse y'all and slowly stop using that leather tab um i know a lot of people didn't like the leather tab anyway but it's back to nylon on here on the black tongue you know what i'm saying but um at the end of the day y'all this isn't like colorway wise it's a dope shoe it's very wearable as far as making outfits with but i would just be a little bit careful beating it up too too much just like i said because of the new buck like even a court purple or a bloodline like you could beat these up or whatever they're leather and you can wash them really easily i would just be careful beating it up with the new buck too too much man but yo at the end of the day it is a dope sneaker um and they're not reselling for a ridiculous amount of money i mean every jordan one resells but um I actually did check because a lot of times I don't check and I, I forget to tell you guys when you get in the video. I know a lot of you guys care about that stuff. Um, but last time I checked, these were only going for around $260, which is less than $100 over retail. So definitely get your hands on a pair if you do want them. Um, and then also, I always review the right shoe just because camera angles I always sit on this side. So camera angles I always review the right shoe. But here we go. I'll pick up the left shoe so you guys can see it. Um, we do get another pair of gray laces or shadow laces, I guess you could call it, with the shoe. Now, if I were to lace these up, I would probably keep the black laces in just to keep the whole black tongue look. But that's just me. I know now you guys who follow my Instagram know this, right? 
I know you're gonna see the people who are like the lace swap geniuses and do all these crazy lace swaps and they're gonna put red laces in these. You already know, right? You guys are, you guys know the people that I'm talking about. There's some people that actually do legitimately like cool, um, what's it called? Like lace swaps, like Jay the Sneaker guy does dope lace swaps, but there's some people that just put red laces in everything and be like, oh, I'm the genius. I know how to match everything. There's the red people, the red lace people who are like regular sneakerheads, the annoying regular sneakerheads, and then there's the pink lace people who are the hype beast, right? But I'm gonna keep my black laces in here. Um, I think it's gonna be a really, really clean look with this shoe, man. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Um, I actually did hit this pair on sneakers app. Were you guys able to hit on sneakers app? Did you get them somewhere else? Um, let me, once again, like I said, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. But that is it for this video, you guys. I am the Anonymous Sneakerhead. If you are new here, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Anonymous Sneakerhead family. Join the channel. Um, let's keep on growing. Let's go ahead and hit 2,000 subscribers now. Um, you know what I'm saying? Also, if you already are subscribed and you want to show support, just take the one second to go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps with the algorithms. Helps bring more people to the channel. And then last but not least, go ahead and follow the Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. You get a lot of information up there first polls stories questions kicks of the day all of that stuff um but that is it for this video you guys i am the most mysterious sneaker youtuber in the game and as always it's all about the sneakers yeah.